Bill Lambert, a paramedic and firefighter, was visiting the zoo with his family. He happened to bring along his Sony Video 8 Handycam. I was uh, videotaping over here, and we heard a uh, scream, and then a thud. The crowd started screaming, and then the zookeeper ran by me. What happened? Without even realizing I was still recording, I automatically ran and followed him over here to see what was going on. Oh my god. So I just zoomed my camera in to see what she was carrying, and she was carrying a small child. She was kind of cradling the child in one arm and then walking the other way, and it looked, she kept looking back at the other gorillas like she was trying to get away from the other ones. And it just kind of felt like she was trying to protect him. First thing that came into my mind. I ran up the ramp, and then when I saw her again, she was sitting on the log there pretty much cradling the boy and almost looked like she was rocking him. Over here! Hey! That was just amazing. And then they hit her with the water again, and that's when she put the boy down and took off. Binti placed the boy near an access door where keepers could retrieve him. The toddler suffered only minor injuries and made a full recovery. It's November of 2002. Richard and Kathy Auckland are in the Salu Game Reserve in Tanzania, celebrating their second wedding anniversary. As they head into the bush, Richard trains their mini DV camera upon lions, hippos, monkeys, and eventually a family of Maasai giraffes. Then, two male giraffes catch their attention. They just had a different stance. They just looked more aggressive, um, and we'd never seen that before. The driver, he stopped, and he turned off the engine. And when that happens, you know, that, well, we'll start looking about what's going yeah. on. And he thought they were going to fight. And we just thought, oh my God. Richard and Kathy feared they're witnessing a fight to the death. This was boxing without rules. And part way through the video, I said to the guy, do they sometimes kill each other? Because I was watching this and I was thinking, this could be fatal. The heated battle lasts just two and a half minutes, but to the Aucklands, it feels much longer. If it was two lines fighting, you'd say, wow, they're fighting. But you would, would expect that kind of behavior, but um, not from giraffes. In the end, the slightly smaller adolescent on the left appears to have had enough. He simply picks up and walks away. In March of 2008, an intriguing video popped up on YouTube that had a lot of people scratching their heads. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Mark Fang and Liz Allen shot and posted the video. It was just an amazing experience, and Mark always has the camera with him, and he's always filming. Mark trained the lens of his high def camcorder on a female elephant named Hong. In just under five minutes, Hong completed painting the elephant. She then added a flower as a finishing touch. And she put every last detail into it. And when she knew she was finished, she stepped away and was very pleased with herself. 